Larry Whitaker, from America's most inbred family, claims he's dead and appears in video. While daughter admits she lied about his death to make money there is the patriarch of America's most inbred family is alive and well. Larry Whitaker, a 67-year-old West Virginian whose family became internet stars just a few years ago, was reported dead last week. Contrary to reports, relatives made the allegations to journalist Mark Rita, and the video sheds light for the first time on his family and their remote community 70 miles south of Charleston. As a result, Leita became distraught last week when he used his YouTube channel to announce Larry's alleged death. Citing testimony from relatives, he said the elderly man died of a heart attack. However, that turned out not to be true, as the latest information published on his site shows. In it, Larry is unaware of the rumors of his death, but he appears to be alive. His daughter BJ also appears and she admits that she lied about his death to get money. Leda donated $1,000 to Larry's funeral last week. In the nearly hour-long video, satirically titled The Death of Larry Whitaker, when confronted by Lita, she said, I'm not proud of what I did, I'm not proud of it. Told. I shouldn't have done that, she complained, smoking a cigarette. I am seeking help to cure my drug addiction. Her supposedly deceased father is sitting next to her. And she only found out about her deception moments ago. Already suspicious of her, Lita spots Larry parked on the property and breaks the news to her. Is this what you're supposed to wear at a funeral? The photojournalist asked jokingly. After asking other members of the Rough and Tumble clan about his whereabouts. What? said the son of cousins John and Gracie Whitaker, clearly confused. Is this what you're wearing for a funeral? At this point, Rita repeated, referring to Larry's modest attire. What, you don't understand? At this point, BJ also got out of his pickup truck and headed to a trailer on his family's property. Although Rita is still filming, she tries to get her attention. Hey, BJ. Let's talk, he pleads, but the woman ignores his request as she gets into the trailer. At this point, Leita gives up and she turns to meet the rest of her family, including Larry. BJ, he yelled again, but was ignored again. Shortly before the family patriarch arrived in his car, Lita spoke with several family members, including Larry's sister Betty. I asked you about Larry's death, and you said, he's dead, Lita asks the patriarch. Betty, along with her brother Danny, her sister Lauren, and her brother Kenneth, said, BJ told you to tell me this. I don't know that you won't give her the money. I did. When Larry arrives, Lita plays a recording of BJ crying over her father's death, and Betty hears it too. Mark, I'm sorry, BJ says in the video, crying hysterically as he breaks the news. I had to tell you. I never thought today would be the day I would bury my father. I don't know what to do anymore. I just wanted to ask, could you please send me $150? She continues to ask questions while crying crocodile tears. When Larry heard her voicemail, he shook her head in disbelief, and then she simply muttered. Oh my god! Still in shock, he added, well, I don't know. When asked directly if he knew about his death. Larry replied, no, I just heard about it on video last night. This clip shows writer, Larry and BJ's encounter 20 minutes later. They are all sitting on the balcony of their house as the writer begins a difficult conversation. I understand that you have a drug problem. So, BJ. Everyone knows this. You told me so, the filmmaker begins. It's not a secret. But for you at this point BJ interjects and he admits that he is ashamed of his misdeeds. I'm not proud at all. I shouldn't have done it. I'm not proud of what I did. Although Leita continued to forgive her, her commanders were quick to alert her to her plans. 
disgusting, one top commenter wrote on the video, which has been viewed nearly 400,000 times. Fake Larry's death and extort money is so. It's amazing Mark hasn't completely lost his mind, added another. Another said, BJ doesn't regret that she lied but it's really unfortunate she got caught. Oh. You're smarter than people think, one commenter said, pointing to her family's family tree. The story begins in 1897, when twin brothers Henry and John were born. The two brothers adopted children and eventually married each other and had children of their own. These children eventually produced the Whitaker clan, with a total of 15 descendants. Among them are Larry, Betty, and Danny, who only communicates through moans. The family went viral in 2020 thanks to Leda's videos, eventually leading to the media calling them America's most inbred family. DailyMail.com visited her home in Odo last year, 